right what's up everybody today we're gonna look at the coinbase mobile app now if you are an expert a cryptocurrency expert this video is not for you however it might be for somebody that you know so if you do know someone who is looking to dip their toes into the waters of cryptocurrency won't you please give them this video send them this link so that they can benefit from the information that I'm going to provide here today and if you are one of those individuals if you are a beginner please don't hesitate to use the link below to the coinbase mobile app as I will uh, show you how uh, you can get a free gift of Bitcoin uh, just by using my particular link all right I also get a nice uh, bonus of Bitcoin as I will uh, tell you about a little bit later so go ahead and click on that link and once you do that um, you go ahead and uh, download the coinbase app now if you don't want to use that link that's perfectly fine we still love you go ahead and uh, put in coinbase into your app store and go ahead and download it now coinbase is a great on-ramp for cryptocurrency so basically what an on-ramp is is a, a place or a vehicle to get your fiat currency that is your euros or your US dollars Canadian dollars or whatever the fiat currency that you are using in your particular country is a good way to get that currency transformed into cryptocurrency now be it Bitcoin or any other um, cryptocurrency for that matter now we go ahead and open up the app and what you're gonna want to do is press the sign up button and you begin by putting in your name first name last name and once you do that it's gonna ask you for your email and the password and then you're gonna certify that you are in fact 18 years of age or older after you do that you're gonna go ahead and push sign up once you push sign up it's going to ask you to verify your email address so I'm gonna give you a second to do that and we'll come back and be ready to sign in to the app itself all right now that you have your email verified go ahead and go back to the app and you can log in now uh, go ahead and put in your email address again and your password and then you can go ahead and log in now once you log in it's going to ask you to verify your phone number so go ahead and take a second to verify your phone number all right now that you have your phone number in you go ahead and enter in that code that was sent to you go ahead and push continue from there go ahead and put your name your date of birth and the last four of your social security number and then you go ahead and push continue and from there you go ahead and enter in your address all right almost done here now they ask you what you use coin coinbase for and I'm gonna go ahead and put investing what is your source of funds I'm gonna go ahead and say investing or investments job title let's go with investor I'm going to say that I am self-employed <laughs> if I can spell it all right now that you have gotten past the red tape you're ready to explore the app itself on the very first page you'll see the prices of the cryptocurrencies that are available first Bitcoin then Ethereum and so on as you scroll down you'll see several cryptocurrencies that have been added to coinbase originally there was just Bitcoin then 
In 2017, Litecoin, Ethereum were added, uh, Ethereum Classic after that, and then there were several more that were added, uh, even as recently as uh, this year, uh, 2019, they added uh, EOS and Chainlink, Chainlink uh, most recently. All right, if you want to take a look at all the assets, all the available cryptocurrencies that, that are that are here, um, you can go ahead and, and do that. If there are some that you are particularly fond of, they have a little following button. If you want to do that, then they will keep them on your, it will keep them on your front page. So you can uh, keep track of those that you like um, more than others, perhaps. All right, so if we wanna follow Stellar Lumens, go ahead and press this following button and you see it pop up here on my screen here all right so let's just say let's say I'm, I'm i'm only a bitcoin fan and i don't really like anything else i just want to follow bitcoin because that's all that i'm concerned with all right as i do that i come back and now the ones that I'm following is Bitcoin. If I want to see the rest, I just go ahead and push view assets and I can change that at will. All right. The next step, we look at accounts. As I press that button, it'll take me to the different cryptocurrencies and how much I have so far. All right. As you see, I pretty much have nothing. I have tiny amounts of a couple of cryptocurrency. Everything else is empty. All right, so I set this account up for demonstration purposes. So what we wanna do is just tell you a little bit about some of the cryptocurrencies here. If you don't know already, uh, BTC is uh, Bitcoin itself and USD uh, wallet, that is actually your, um, your wallet for uh, transferring directly from your bank account to Coinbase. So if you want to deposit a certain amount each month or each week or each day even, you can set that up to where uh, you get uh, direct transfers from your bank to Coinbase. Now that is different from USDC coin and that is a stable coin. All right, it is pegged to the US dollar, but it is able to be uh, quickly exchanged and traded for other cryptocurrencies. Whereas the USD coin, I'm sorry, the USD wallet, that is strictly for fiat currency, all right? So you can use your fiat currency to trade for different cryptocurrencies uh, on Coinbase. However, you uh, cannot transfer those dollar amounts to other uh, cryptocurrency exchanges. If you want to do that, then what you would need to do is switch it to uh, USDC coin. And from there, you can transfer it to other exchanges. Now, once you have uh, any of these cryptocurrencies, you are then able to transfer those to another exchange or another wallet for safekeeping. Now we'll get to wallets in just a second. I'm just go ahead and show you a couple of more things. Now, for those of you who like to make more money, those of you who are interested in making more or earning more cryptocurrency, what better way to do that than to use the invite button here. So you press that invite button and you can send a text or an email. And what it does is it will send a code to your friend or family members. And if they're interested in getting into cryptocurrency, they can use that link when they sign up and fund their account with $100 at least, you get a free $10 and they get a free $10 worth of Bitcoin. All right, so it's a great deal. This is obviously a way that they can promote their company but also a way that you can earn some, some extra cryptocurrency pretty much for free just by sending a, a simple 
text or email. Here's what it looks like if you press that button. A little message comes up. Type in uh, whomever you want to send that to, send that to them, and then you're all set. And hopefully they'll sign up and you'll earn some extra Bitcoin. Uh, push the settings button. Now what you see here are different options. So under security, if you want to set up a passcode so that no one can get into your uh, Coinbase app without your permission, go ahead and set that up. All right. If you are interested in a particular cryptocurrency, you can have Coinbase send you a notification when it reaches a certain level uh, or when it dips below a certain level. And you can set that up with this menu right here. Pretty, pretty convenient and um, pretty useful actually. Um, uh, sometimes Bitcoin uh, makes some, uh, some, some sudden dips and sudden rises. And if you're on top of it, you'd have an opportunity to make some, some pretty, pretty significant gains if you utilize that particular feature. All right. Now that about wraps it up. But before we say goodbye, let me just give you um, a little bit of insight. Coinbase is not a safe place to store your cryptocurrency. Store them on a device like a ledger or a treasure. Uh, if you click the link below, and it'll take you to uh, those sites where you can go ahead and purchase those. Now, full transparency here. I don't own a treasure, but I do own a ledger, which I use faithfully. And I think they're very, very reliable. Now, the reason why you don't want to use Coinbase as your primary uh, location for, for storage of your cri cryptocurrencies is, is you don't own your private keys. Now, you have access to your public key, but you do not own your private keys on Coinbase. Coinbase is an exchange. That means they have access to your funds. Um, if there is some sort of hack to the exchange, you definitely run the risk of losing everything that you have. All right. Now, something like um, a trusted wallet, like, uh, like Ledger, you always have access to your funds because you always have access to your private key. And that is the insanely important point that I need you to, uh, to understand. If you don't have your private key, if you don't own your private key, if you don't know your private key, then you do not own that cryptocurrency. It can be taken from you by anybody who has access to the private keys. The exchange has access to your private keys. They hold the private keys. You do not. So looking at Coinbase, what I see it as is a great on-ramp. It's an avenue to get you from one place to another. One place being your fiat currency, your bank account, and the end goal being having your cryptocurrency stored away in a safe location that only you and whomever you, whomever else you authorized can access. All right. So please be safe. Please always do your own research and make sure that you find a safe place to store your cryptocurrencies so that we can all make great gains and that we can all benefit. From